Hi, Scorpio. I'm Pam, the Lucky Mermaid, psychic seer and modern mystic, bringing you psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides for March of 2022. Please be sure to watch your sun sign, your rising sign, and your moon sign to get a more clear and complete picture of what's to come for you in the month of March and perhaps beyond because timing will be different for all of you in these general readings. Remember, sometimes your rising sign and your moon sign will resonate more for you than your sun sign will. And if you're born on the cusp of your sign, some months, your psychic predictions and messages are coming to you from there. So you might want to check that out. This recording is for Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Rising, and Scorpio Moon. I'm using the Tarot Mucha Tarot deck in these readings. All that being said, Scorpio, now on to your March 2022 Psychic Tarot reading. The first card you have in the reading today is the Eight of Swords. And the Eight of Swords is feeling trapped in an emotional prison. It could also be trapped or bound in some kind of situation that you can't see how to get out of. Uh, this could also be, there could be things unknown, unknown factors. You may actually be able to get out of this easily, but you're not seeing the way out now. You know, it comes up, my guides are saying, little things are blocking you everywhere you turn. So it could be in different areas of your life that you're trying to make movements, relationships, work, uh, socially, uh, educational and knowledge-wise, whatever the areas are, it's like little things have been blocking you. Or they may be doing it this month of March, but that could have already been going on prior to March. And... My guides are saying that Scorpios have an invested interest in staying grounded right now and not letting themselves get wigged out over uh, and uh, distraught over any of these little blocks because these things are moving. They're going to pass. And some of these blocks could linger, but by the time you get to September of 2022, any of all the blocks will be gone. Now you may say that's a long way away. Well, that's not going to be the case for all of you. Some of these blocks are going to move out of the way as time goes on. It's not going to be like all the blocks are removed in September. As it grows on gradually, these blocks that you've been facing in these different areas of your life will be removed. Some of you are challenging yourself to do things in a new way. It could be new ways you deal with people. It could be new diet, new exercise regime, new way you study, new way you problem solve. It, it could be a different facet for all of you. And I feel that some of you Scorpios are really gonna be leaving a world behind that caused a lot of problems for you. So if you had a group of friends that was negative and caused problems for you, I feel you'll be disconnecting from those friends or a job or a love relationship or family, wh wherever there was a lot of uh, negative energy, you're gonna be moving away from that. Because some of this Eight of Swords is that you kind of stuck it out too long. You hung in there too long. And now you're either fed up, you've reached the boiling point, or you've had some kind of awakening, and now you're just going to eventually, I'm not saying you're doing it in March. Remember, these are psychic predictions. Sometimes when people say, this doesn't resonate with me, well, they're predictions. And if you get private readings from me or anyone else that does psychic readings, they, you can get timing in that reading, and it can happen way later. It may happen years later in private readings, you know? They can go up to three to five years out in time, even seven years sometimes. But in these readings, they could have already happened to you, what I'm saying here, or it could be coming up now or next year. So always good to go back. If something rings a bell to you, go back and listen to the reading later because you may find this makes sense to you in May or June. 
And you're going to double down on your efforts to stop problems and eradicate problems from your life. So you're going to get out of this Eight of Swords card. You may not feel like it at the moment, but you will. You have Ace of Pentacles next. And this is the divine source giving you financial abundance and blessings of, you know, financial abundance, but it could be abundance of other things of value. It, it could be even emotions. It doesn't just have to be financial. Some of you are going to get a raise. Some of you are Scorpios are going to get an opportunity uh, that gives you more money. Now, it could be a raise. It could be a new job. And for some of you, it could be like somebody either where you work now or not is going to say to you, hey, can you do this for me? And I'll give you this lump sum of money. Uh, so you've got some kind of opportunity coming here. And I feel that it could happen anytime between now and April. And let's put it this way. In April, I feel like you will be feeling flush with money in some way, whether it's from you got a raise, you got a sideline offer or opportunity, and you made big money off of that, uh, or you got a new job. And this is going to give you the opportunity to buy something that you really want. Some of you may find that you want to buy a house. You may use this money uh, to put a down payment on a property. And some of you, Scorpios, will be thinking about how you're going to handle this money. And some of you could be seriously looking into what you can invest it in. If you don't invest it in a home or a property, like a secondary property, uh, or maybe a pro you could be a property you want to turn around and rent, uh, you're going to invest it in something that would give you financial gains. Some of you are going to use it to op open up a store of some sort or a type of business. And whatever you do with this money, stuff really shines for you after that. It's like a page turning moment. So don't be afraid if you find yourself getting flush with money, like my guides say, at some point. In the year of 2022, maybe it's going to be between now and April or in April for some of you. Don't be afraid to invest it because it's like you invest that money and stuff really shines for you after that. <clears throat> Especially if you use it to a property or a property you're going to rent or to start a business. You'll do really well in those areas. And some of you may feel like you have to go out of your way to get like a part-time job or to get a part-time gig or to do something to generate this money. So some of you, it's going to come to you like an opportunity, but some of you, you seek it out. Either way, it comes to you. So the third card in your reading, very good card, Scorpio here, these two that were together and your next one looks good too. Uh, you have the chariot and the chariot is a card that symbolizes being pulled in two different directions. You may have to make a decision or a choice between two things. It could indicate long distance travel. Sometimes the chariot means success. This year or in March, it could be a little later than March, you're building something for success this year. You're building like it's like building up a structure, a foundation of uh, for success. And some of you may actually find that you're leading the charge in how things are going to happen within your family. So you may be like, okay, this is what we're doing. We're moving. 
or okay, this is what we're doing. We're buying that secondary property and we're going to flip it and sell it or we're going to fix it up or rent it or we're going to invest in something like whatever it is, you are going to be leading the charge in your family situation. And you may find that, especially if you're starting a business, you may find that you have to teach your family or people you hire how to do what you need them to do. And some of you, if you start your own business, your family is involved and they are going to be some of your employees. And you may be like, okay, well, I'm going to pay you, but these are the things you need to do and I'm going to instruct you what I need to do. Not all of you will it be family. Some of you, you're starting a business and you just have to instruct other people. I feel like Scorpios are getting ingrained in a situation in 2022 that's going to bring about like more opportunities to them. So it could be happening at your work that you already are involved in or a business you already own, but getting ingrained in something that really brings in good financial gain and opportunity for you comes up here. I feel like some of you don't be surprised if somebody wants to hire you for some special event or some specialized opportunity. It could be a full-time job, but it almost feels it's, that's not the feel to me. It feels like for something very specific, like maybe you're excellent at painting murals and somebody's going to hire you to paint a mural, or maybe you're really great with uh, bookkeeping and financial uh, taking care of like, uh, you know, paying ta taxes, doing taxes and books and finance. Maybe somebody's going to hire you to do that for them. And that may be not what you do full time. I feel like you're also learning some things, Scorpio, about stabilizing your income. So if you're a Scorpio that hasn't felt like your income is the most stable or you'd like to learn more about finances and managing your own finances and becoming more financially abundant and stable, I feel like you're going to be learning about it. Whether it's through your own experiences you're going to learn about it, or somebody could be telling you, teaching you, and showing you about it. Now, if you would like to get a more uh, predictions and messages from my spirit guides, kind of like an expansion of this reading where I give you additional messages for the month of March of 2022. That link for the Psychic Crystal readings for March is down below in the description box. Or you can go to my website, theluckymermaid.com, go to the videos page, and there you will see. It's probably going to be the first or second video series on the videos page on my website. You click on the zodiac sign you want, your sun sign, your rising sign, your moon sign, or somebody else you love and care about sign, and it will take you to that video on Vimeo. So card number four in your reading is the Wheel of Fortune. And the Wheel of Fortune is the karmic wheels of fate turning in your favor, the planets in the heavens and the spirit guides around you conspiring to give you karmic good fortune. This could also indicate karmic cycles ending, new karmic cycles beginning. Um, <clears throat> it can be the ups and downs of karma. You're, it's like, I feel like you're now starting to put together plans that are really going to start to work out for you. <clears throat> for some of you, it is about diet, exercise. For some of you, it's about your finances and uh investments. I feel like you're learning a lot. You're becoming more astute. You're putting energy into something that you feel that's important for you to learn. And remember what I said in the chariot card, you could be learning about like banking, uh, financial investments, how to manage money, uh, that kind of thing. So it's sort of a repeat here a little bit. And you may feel like the pressure of time. Like, I really need to get moving on this. Like, you've waited too long, or time is slipping away, or maybe you feel that time is of the essence, like strike while the iron's hot. 
and you're expanding so much that you're going to have a lot to show for it. So your career could be expanding, your business could be expanding, your knowledge could be expanding, uh, your bank account, your finances are expanding, and, and these things, your interests are expanding. You're going to have a lot to show for it. Now, are you going to have a lot to show for it in March? Maybe some of it, but this is almost like, in some ways, some of these things for you, Scorpio, feel to me like, for lack of a better word, I'm going to say like a yearly prediction, like expect any time this year where you could really see it. You're going to make amends, some of you Scorpios, with a childhood friend that maybe a lifelong friend could be a relative that was also like a friend uh, making amends with them. So you could have had falling out with someone that you've known since childhood, either friend or relative, and make amends with them in March. And something comes back around full circle with them where you're going to start talking about the things you used to do. You're going to be going down memory lane, uh, but like laughing and having a good time about it. I don't feel like this is going down negative memory lane. I feel it's more positive memory lane. And you may loosen the grip on something that you've been very uh, held very tightly onto. It could be a secret, but it could also be a mindset or a belief system or a state of mind that you held on so tightly to. And now you're loosening the grip of it uh, and in March. But like I said, it could really happen at other times this year. So your last card of the reading for March of 2022 is the Emperor. And this is a strong male figure that is in the living. This could be a husband, an ex-husband, a boyfriend, a, a father, grandfather, great-grandfather, someone like a father to, figure to you, an uncle, a brother. This could also be a strong, a male paternal figure in the deceased that's watching you, guiding you, protecting you, giving you ideas and inspirations that could feel like they're yours, but they could actually be coming from this emperor in the spirit world. I feel like you've got to steady your course, and I do feel like you're being watched, watched over or watched. This could be a strong male figure in the living that's doing it. It could be a strong male figure that's deceased that's doing it. This could even be a boss, a manager, or a supervisor. It's like this emperor, there's a lot of things they want you to get straight, like straighten out, get straight on certain things in your life or with your work or with your personal life. They may send you vibes like they don't always approve of you. They may send you vibes like they're aggravated with you. I feel like that applies more if they're in the living. That would be somebody, I feel that would be more a living person with that. You may feel like they're kind of a pain in your butt. And this emperor could be a figure that appears and disappears from your life. A back and forth. They may also be very rigid and could have strong religious convictions and beliefs. This could be something that you had to deal with from a long time ago. And you've had to like fight against the system. So it could actually be a system that feels oppressive and controlling to you if it's not a person. But it could be a person that you've dealt with for a long time that was obsessive and controlling to you. Some of you Scorpios are going to have some kind of vindication that proves to the emperor you were right about something you did or said. That they may have said you did wrong uh, or been critical about. You know, if you had a boss that fired you or let you go in some regard, 
they may find out that they were wrong about the reasons they did that and call you back and try to get you to go back to a place that you worked. For some of you, that's not all of you. So you need to listen because, you know, somebody said to me in the comments, you give too many examples. I tell you what my guides say. Sometimes I use examples to illustrate there's possibilities here. So it's because it's not a private reading for one person. Many people watch these readings. So I hope those messages were of help to you and I hope they made sense. Uh, so now I'm going to look at the gemstone crystal I got for the Scorpios for March. And the best gemstone crystal for Scorpios to work with, use, or wear is Unikite. Unikite is a stone of vision and opening the third eye. Also useful for scrying. It's a stone of balance and bringing emotions and spirituality together. It stimulates compassion and empathy and encourages gratitude. It instills determination. It's going to help as you go through the process of what is happening in your life that's bringing about change in this month of March. And it's going to help you utilize all the power that you have to its fullest. And anything that you, areas where you're trying to reinvent yourself or do any kind of self-improvement, this is a stone that helps boost that kind of energy along. It's going to help ease pressure in your mind and also help will be helpful to alleviate any headaches that you're experiencing. And remember, when I say work with use or wear, I mean, you could put it on your third eye chakra, your throat chakra, your heart chakra when you're meditating. You could sleep with it under your pillow, carry it in your pocket, or wear it as a beaded bracelet or pendant. Remember, when the gemstone touches your skin, you get the most power from the stone. So I hope this reading was of help to you, and I hope it made sense. As always, thank you so very much for watching. I do truly appreciate it. And please like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell when you do subscribe. That way you'll get notified when I upload my videos to YouTube. If you would like to get any of the special video series I record for my Vimeo on-demand pages, where I use a variety of divination tools looking into very specific topics, you can access the most recent videos I've recorded by clicking on any of the links below, or you can go to my website videos page at theluckymermaid.com. And when you go to the videos page, you'll see all the variety of videos I've recorded, what divination tools I used in each video series, and how long the predictions go out for. You just click on the zodiac sign you want under that video heading, and it will take you to those video that video on Vimeo. Now, some of the most recent video series I've recorded is my Big Love Readings for 2022 for Singles and Couples. That link is down below. You may want to get your rising sign in that video series as well, because some people do find that their rising sign resonates more for them than their sun sign. And that can also change month to month. So you might want to check out your rising sign in those videos as well. My psychic tarot readings for the new year of 2022. If you haven't checked that out yet, that link is down below. And also my psychic crystal readings for the month of March 2022 for each sign of the zodiac, which is like a continuation of the videos I do here on YouTube at the beginning of the month. I continue on and give you additional messages and predictions from my spirit guides for this month of March. Now, there's a few others like the Angels and Ancestors, Ascended Masters, Psychic Oracle Card readings for these changing times. That is very interesting readings. A lot of people have found that they were surprised how 
at the messages and how much they resonated with them. So if you haven't checked out those Angels, Ancestors, and Ascended Masters Psychic Oracle card readings, you may really want to look into those. Also, my Saturn in Aquarius Psychic Tarot and Crystal readings, those predictions go out three years in time. So they go out as far as March of 2023. So if you haven't gotten the Saturn in Aquarius uh, videos yet, they're still in progress. Like those predictions still have a whole nother year. Uh, also, if you would like to get more psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides that you aren't going to see here, you could follow me on my social media pages at The Lucky Mermaid LLC on Facebook and The Lucky Mermaid underscore Pam Georgel on Instagram. I usually use oracle cards and tarot cards and the crystal over there. And I write the about five paragraphs of messages and predictions. Many people find they resonate with them. You may also find they resonate with you. So please be sure to follow me over there. Also, if you would like to donate to this channel and help support the readings I do here on YouTube, I have a donation link down below underneath all the videos uh, links, and it is connected to PayPal. Thank you to those of you who have been very kind and generous and donated to my channel. It does mean a lot and it does help a lot. So thank you so much for that. So I hope you have a absolutely fantastic month of March and know that I wish you many blessings and peace.